All right, so it's a 2003 Honda Accord. It should be the same for 03 up to 07. So what we'll be doing is taking out the throttle body and clean it. And also for the intake air idle, which is located back here, this part right here. We're also gonna take that out and clean it. Because that's giving us the code. I'll show you the code. So first thing you should do is loosen this 10 millimeter bolt right here, this one. Move this wire out of the way. And grab your Phillips screwdriver to remove this bolt right here, this one. This one right here. This one in the back here. This one. There's another one down. Can't see it. That one right there. All right, let's go ahead and remove those. All right, let's remove the 10 millimeter. Should be loosening enough. Also, don't forget to take this out. This one right here. Let's go ahead and remove our Phillips screwdriver bolts right here. Let's go ahead and loosen it. You don't have to remove it all the way. This first one. Let's get to the second one. Get to the third one. Just locate her back here. Let's get to the last one. Just locate it down there. So for this part right here, let's go ahead and grab your pliers. Let's pull it out. It should come out. So that, let's go ahead and pull out your intake out of the way. backwards put it to the side all right as you can see we see that we have access to the throttle body now just go ahead and remove the four bolts holding it this one one right there one right here should be another one down here It's hidden over here in the back. All right, just go ahead and remove those. All right, so for the size that holding the throttle body to size 12 millimeter, let's go ahead and remove it. So the back one is right all the way in the back there. Let's go ahead and remove it. So for the bottom ones, they're long, just like this. And the two top ones, just look like this. All right, let's go ahead and remove the throttle body now. See in the back there. You can't see it. Right. Let's get a better angle. Just look at the throttle body. Just go ahead and clean it. Okay. 
hear the music in the background. All right, so before we spray there with a throttle body, body cleaner, let's go ahead and just brush it off as much as we can. You could just do this instead of removing the two hoses holding it back here. Those two bottom. This one and this one. We have access to it, so why not just do this instead of doing the extra work? But you are more than welcome to remove it. One of them will leak. So for one of those hoses, one of them will leak the coolant. Um, Mistaken is going to be this one. We could avoid that. Go ahead and just clean it from back here. All right, so I just clean it with the brush for now, but I will spray this right now. Let's go ahead and remove this sensor right here so we can spray it and clean it. I believe it's just two bolts holding it, two Phillips. One right here, the other one should be in the bottom right here. All right, let's go ahead and remove it. But before that, since we don't want to remove this right here, so we're going to just clean it all the way around. The spray, see it's nice and clean now. Same thing here, just see it's nice and clean. Show you the back. See the back one is nice and clean now. And for the sensor, this one, I can't get it out. I don't have the special tool. Let me show you real quick. But all I did is spray in here. Hopefully that cleans it a little bit. There's a hole right here. So hopefully it cleans this sensor. Because the code that's given us is this sensor. Right, let me show you the special tool you'll need for that. So is it Torx bit? But as you can see, in the center it has this little bump right here. So I don't have that tool, so I won't be able to remove this and clean it. But hopefully with the spray inside here, this little hole, somewhat cleans this sensor. All right, let's go ahead and put it back. All right, so that's the neighbor's car. Sounds nice and strong, right? Nice sound to it. All right, so let's go ahead and put back the door body. Okay, now let's grab a towel. All right, let's go ahead and put the top ones first. It's hand tiny. All right, the bottom ones. I don't know if you can see that. That one's right here. The other one should be right here. Gonna hand tighten it. After that, go ahead and tighten it with your ratchet because you're a ratchet. Disconnect the release. Just go ahead and put it back in. It clicks. It's good. 
All right, let's go ahead and reinstall the air intake. All right, that's it. I'm gonna connect this tiny 10 millimeter. We have four bolts. This one, that one, this one, and the one on the bottom down there. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you till the next time.